Veolia Environment is a global leader in provision of sustainable environmental services. Veolia Environmental Services has become Australia's service leader in all facets of waste management and resource recovery. We are committed to providing enhanced and efficient waste treatment and resource recovery solutions for the Australian population. Access to the Woodlawn Bioreactor begins at the Clyde Transfer Terminal, located in the geographical centre of Sydney. As one of the most environmentally secure facilities of its kind in the world, its noise reduction and odour management systems have set new benchmarks for waste facilities. This highly efficient, inline, integrated waste management receives over 8,000 tonnes of general and putrescible waste every week from local government and commercial contractors. Waste is compacted into shipping containers for transport by rail to the Woodlawn Eco Precinct. Each purpose-built sealed shipping container carries around three standard truckloads of waste material. Veolia is the first environmental services company to transport waste by rail in Australia. Trains hauling 56 carriages depart Clyde at 1am, five to six nights a week. Each train transporting more than 1,500 tonnes of waste to the Crisps Creek Intermodal. By using rail to transport waste, Veolia reduces the number of trucks on Sydney's roads, lowering diesel emissions and saving around 8,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide compared to transport by road. That's equivalent to taking 2,000 cars off the road each year. The empty containers are also returned by rail back to the Clyde Transfer Terminal. The Crisps Creek Intermodal facilitates the transfer of containers to a small fleet of trucks for the short journey to the Woodlawn Eco Precinct. The Woodlawn Eco Precinct is located 250 kilometres southeast of Sydney in New South Wales. It is a showcase of Veolia's commitment to innovation and the environment, which has been formally recognised by a number of prestigious awards. Veolia's purchase of Woodlawn and the surrounding farm area now totals over 6,000 hectares. An extensive monitoring program ensures the local environment is protected in compliance with strict Department of Environment, Climate Change and Water standards. Operational since September 2004, Woodlawn has a workforce of 22 and houses over 2 million tonnes of compacted waste. The Woodlawn Eco Precinct is comprised of four sustainable elements. The Woodlawn Bioreactor the proposed Woodlawn Alternative Sorting and Processing Facility, or WASP, Aquaculture, and Horticulture. Previously a copper, lead, and zinc open-cut mine, the site comprised a 25 million cubic metre void surrounded by degraded land and tailings dams. It is now used as an in-situ bioreactor. Bioreactors are one of the leading forms of alternative waste technology. The Woodlawn Bioreactor uses state-of-the-art techniques to rapidly degrade and stabilise waste produce and capture biogas and to remove and recycle organic material within the waste. The result is the ability to generate green electricity from what would otherwise be waste material. The success of the Woodlawn Bioreactor to date is testament to the passion and dedication of the Veolia team who have helped create it. 
I've been extremely lucky to be involved in the Woodlawn Bioreactor over, over 10 years now. Uh, and from the very beginning, uh, this was a huge project for Violi. It was an exciting project, uh, one which we were really pushing the boundaries of what we could do at a facility like this. Every tonne of biodegradable waste deposited has the potential to yield up to 1.33 megawatts of power. One of the major differences really between our bioreactor here and a conventional landfill is that this is purpose built to collect the energy. We're taking this nutrient laden water from the base of the landfill and we're recycling it into, into the waste mass. We're encouraging early stabilization of the waste and conversion of the organics into methane. Currently, a network of over 30 kilometers of piping captures the biogas and feeds it into the generators, which produce three valuable resources, green electricity, heat, and carbon dioxide. So what are we gonna do with all this electricity? Well, the Woodlawn scheme is embedded within the electricity network. So all of that energy that we're producing from the degradation of the waste, converting those organics, into methane, methane into electricity, is effectively going back into the grid as renewable power. We've got a long-term deal with Energy Australia to provide them with electricity, renewable energy, and that is effectively going back into the grid to service some of those people that have produced that waste in the first place. Uh, so it's a fantastic scheme, and one that has uh, been able to be implemented early in the life of the site, and something we're very, very proud of. It also plays an important role in protecting the environment by capturing methane. Methane is a greenhouse gas with 21 times greater impact on climate change than carbon dioxide. Results of independent testing of the gas infrastructure installed at Woodlawn indicates that up to 92% of methane can be collected from the waste. For every megawatt of power produced from the Woodlawn Bioreactor, we're effectively taking 0.75 tonnes of organic material out of the system. So when you talk about recycling, you've really got to look at the full picture, the full energy balance. And what we're doing here is hugely exciting. So 22,000 megawatts in the first two years of operation is really quite unprecedented. The, uh, the scale and the increase in power production at Woodlawn is quite unparalleled. And it's something that we talked about at the start of this project and something that we've managed to fulfill. Woodlawn Bioreactor currently has three megawatt out of a planned 25 megawatt of renewable generation capacity. With an estimated life of over 50 years, the bioreactor will provide a sustainable solution for Sydney's waste. The proposed Woodlawn Alternative Sorting and Processing Facility, or WASP, will recover reusable materials and produce compost for on-site rehabilitation. There's over 3,000 hectares of degraded mine site here uh, that needs rehabilitation and Veolia have a long-term agreement through a mines operation plan to rehabilitate this degraded land. These are the woodlawn tailings. The tailings were basically produced from the grinding down of the rock of the ore material when woodlawn was a mine. One of the key aspects of the WASP proposal is to rehabilitate this area. We're going to utilise the existing rail network, bring the waste in from Sydney. That'll be processed using mechanical biological treatment methods to produce a compost for rehabilitation of these tailings dams. The great thing about this project is there's no markets to develop. The need is right here, right now. Any of the residual material from that processing will go into the bioreactor, and the residual organics in that material will again be used for renewable electricity. So one of the really exciting parts of this project for us is closing the loop on the energy. Taking the waste heat from the engines that are producing the renewable energy, passing that through a heat exchanger and creating conditions where we can grow fish. We're propagating silver perch. Those silver perch will go back to markets and the waste from that agriculture project will be processed right here in this hydroponics area. The waste material basically will come into these tanks and then it'll be cleaned up using lettuces and that clean water will then go back into the tanks for use in the aquaculture. In addition, Infogen Energy are expanding on the existing Capital Wind Farm on the Woodlawn and Pilara sites. 
The Woodlawn Eco Precinct is situated on the Great Dividing Range in an area renowned for significant year-round wind generation. It is ideally situated to harness this natural energy. Apart from providing significant employment and commercial benefits, Veolia has established the Mulwari Trust. It provides funding to charitable projects that benefit the local community. Since November 2005, the Trust has provided over $3 million in funding and donations for over 200 community projects. Veolia's vision to develop a sustainable waste management solution for Sydney's waste and minimise its carbon footprint is realised in the Eco Precinct. When at peak capacity, the Woodlawn Bioreactor will produce 25 megawatts of green electricity, enough to supply over 25,000 homes. Woodlawn Eco Precinct offers a significant alternative for the resource recovery and disposal of putrescible waste in New South Wales. It takes advantage of proven technologies currently utilised by Veolia around the world. We are committed to the delivery of a range of environmental, sustainable solutions for today and well into the future.